And the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Southern Division is reporting a major increase in murders, shootings and robberies from January to September as compared to the same period last year, but is assuring that crime-fighting initiatives have been bearing fruits. Acting Senior Superintendent for the Southern Division, Richard Smith, says the division has implemented several initiatives to deal with the increased crime activity, including increased patrols, intelligence-led investigations, and redeploying detectives at several police stations. He says the division has been seeing more serious reported crimes this year than in 2021. We had 63 murders thus far, as compared to 27 last year. We have 61 shooting and woundings as compared to 41 last year, 230 robberies as, com as compared to 130 last year, last in motor vehicle stands at 97 as compared to 45 last year, and we had 51 horse breaking and last year, this, year, this year as compared to 49 last year. However, he notes that since initiating the anti-crime approaches, which includes synchronized patrols and roadblocks, there has been a 47% reduction in those serious reported crimes from August to date. From the 11th of July to the 10th of August, we had 13 murders. As compared to the 11th of August to the 11th of September, we had five murders, a 62% reduction. Shooting and woundings went from five to three, Robberies went from 47 to 29. Breaking offenses went from 30 to 23. General larceny went from 23 to 13. And larceny motor vehicle, which is plaguing us now, remained the same as 10 in both instances. The patrols in particular, he believes, has led to a reduction in robberies, as well as the seizing of at least 15 firearms in the division.